This question is taken from the Anger 2020 Section 2 paper, and it is question 7. The question reads, A spaceship has mass m equals 8 times 10 to the 4 kilograms. It travels at constant velocity with kinetic energy 10 to the 12 joules. An external impulse of 8 times 10 to the 7 kilogram meters per second, lasting 2 seconds, is applied acting in the opposite direction to the spaceship's motion. What is the average rate of loss of kinetic energy? So we want to work out the average rate of loss of kinetic energy, which is essentially the, the power dissipation. But what formula would be useful in order to get the, the kinetic energy, the change in kinetic energy over time? So you can tell from this question, because of the mention of impulse and kinetic energy, the, the kind of go-to expression is to use Ke equals P squared over 2m, involving the momentum. So how can we get the initial momentum from this? And what why should we get the initial momentum? Well, once we get this initial momentum, then when we take away the impulse part, because it's acting in the opposite direction, we can get the new momentum and then use that for the new kinetic energy that we'll use in our expression. So our initial momentum, pi squared, is 2 times the mass times the kinetic energy. So initial momentum is just 4 times 10 to the 8, where if I did a plus, just to signify that it's in the positive direction. So how can we get the final momentum in this so that we can put it into the new kinetic energy? Well, we have the final momentum is the initial momentum, take away the impulse. Well, minus that because it's in the opposite direction. So we then get 3.2 times 10 to the 8. Well, you could have written this as 32 times 10 to the 7 for kilograms meters per second. So how do we get the average rate of loss of kinetic energy? We have the average rate is change in kinetic energy over change in time, and we know the time, which is two seconds. So if we put our values in, we'll have pi squared minus pf squared divided by two times the mass, and then the two for the time. So how could we simplify this expression instead of having to possibly calculate everything and then take them away from each other? Well, we notice this is a difference of two squares. So we can write this as pi minus pf, and then pi plus pf, which is 2 to the 5 times 10 to the 4. So why was this useful? Why did I think to do this? Well, it, the difference of two squares when you have a minus b, then we can know one of these is actually the impulse. So pi minus pf is just the impulse. And then pi plus pf, we can just add them together, quite simply. So we have 8 times 10 to the 7, because that was the impulse of pi minus pf. And then 7.2 times 10 to the 8 is the 4, add the 3.2 times 10 to the 8. So can we make any cancellations here that will simplify our algebra, or our expression? So we can cancel the 8 and 2 to the power of 3, so we get left with 2 to the power of 2 here. Then we get left with 10 to the 4 on the top. So what we have is 10 to the 11 on the top, because of the 10 to the 7 as well, and then 7.2 divided by 4, which is 1.8. So we have an expression of 1.8 times 10 to the 11 watts for the average rate of loss of kinetic energy.